surprise, surprise, today, tomorrow, Toyota has finally revealed its fully electric Toyota RAV4. The plug-in hybrid version of Toyota's best-selling vehicle is notoriously challenging to acquire. There are a lot of reasons why people are currently obsessed with this crossover. Well, did you know that Toyota used to sell a fully electric version of the RAV4 SUV before it became one of the most popular hybrids in Australia? Twice! Let's talk more about this only here on Tech Addicts, your only spot for all updated information. And let's start talking. While the Toyota BZ4X, the brand's first fully electric SUV to be offered in Australia, is still about a year away, it's time to rewind the clock 25 years to when Toyota produced an all-electric RAV4. In 1997, Toyota produced approximately 1,500 fully electric RAV4 wagons in order to assist in the field testing of what was then groundbreaking technology for electric vehicles. The RAV4 EV was initially exclusively offered to fleet customers on a lease so that Toyota could reclaim the cars at the end of the finance period. The vehicle was equipped with a 27 kilowatt hour NIMH or nickel metal hydride battery, a 50 kilowatt electric motor, and a single speed transmission. The RAV4 electric vehicle had a range of 153 kilometers, a top speed of 126 kilometers per hour, and an estimated efficiency of 26.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers traveled. It weighed 1,560 kilograms, only 265 kilograms more than a regular RAV4 powered by gasoline. Although this may not seem like particularly large figures, keep in mind that this was 10 years before Apple produced the first iPhone. In addition to this, Toyota began development of the vehicle in 1995, two years before it was made available for purchase in the United States. Around half a million kilometers of testing were conducted in Japan on the electric RAV4 before it was exported to the United States. In the beginning, the electric RAV4 was only leased to commercial and government clients for a period of three years. However, in the year 2001, this offer was made available to private business clients as well, and the following year, in 2002, the general public was given the opportunity to buy an electric RAV4 outright. The vehicle had a starting price of $42,000, making it significantly more expensive than a gasoline-powered RAV4, which had a starting price of $15,118 in 1997. However, with the low emission rebates available to consumers in California, the price could be reduced to approximately $29,000. Before production was finally stopped in 2003, a total of 328 were made available for purchase by the general public. The EV95 battery that is utilized by the RAV4 was being manufactured by Panasonic under a deal with Ovonix, a battery technology company that is owned by GM. This fact leads credence to the theory that Panasonic is somehow connected to the big oil conspiracy. Late in the year 2000, Texaco Oil made the acquisition of General Motors' share of Ovonix. The following year, the oil industry behemoth Chevron bought Texaco Oil. After that, Chevron brought a patent infringement lawsuit against Panasonic and Toyota, which will prevent those companies from manufacturing NIMH batteries of a size that would, for example, be able to power all electric vehicles until at least 2010. Rewinding the clock by 10 years brings us to the year 2012, when Toyota introduced a new RAV4 EV that was based on the third generation model of the vehicle. This time, just about 2,500 were manufactured and they were supplied just to buyers in the state of California. The vehicle was powered by a 41.8 kilowatt hour battery pack and offered a 115 kilowatt output along with a range of 166 kilometers. Its starting price was $49,800 US dollars, which was more than double the $22,500 entry price of a 2012 Toyota RAV4, 
And now, Toyota and Panasonic have teamed forces with Tesla in order to produce a lithium-ion battery that is considered to be more modern by the standards of today. This battery was then paired with Tesla's AC induction motor. In the past, the vehicle could be charged with 9.6 kilowatts of AC power. However, there is now an aftermarket system that can enhance this to 48 kilowatts of DC power for rapid charging. In contrast to the older model, which managed to keep the same outward appearance as its gasoline-powered predecessors, the more recent RAV4 EV was given a distinctive, albeit unattractive nose, to differentiate itself in the grocery store. Production continued until about the middle of 2014, when Toyota and Tesla decided to cease their battery relationship. The advertised price of Toyota's most recent full electric SUV, the BZ4X, is $42,000 in the United States and $62,000 in Australia. A low-use example of a car can be purchased on the second-hand market today for approximately $18,000, which is less than half the price of a new car. A quarter of a century after they were initially shown to the public, the automobiles from the first generation, of which it is believed that less than 500 examples still exist, have become something of a collector's item. These vehicles still have a restricted driving range and operate in complete silence. It is well known that Toyota produces a significant number of hybrid vehicles. Many people are probably unaware that Toyota also produced an electric version of the RAV4 at one point during its brief foray into the market for electric vehicles. As part of its commitment to accelerating the rollout of electric automobiles, Toyota has announced that it will hasten the rollout of electric cars in Europe by releasing five new completely electric models within the next four years. At the beginning of this year, the Japanese automaker debuted the BZ4X SUV, the first of its kind to be powered solely by electric propulsion. The organization had previously pledged that by the year 2035, all of the vehicles it sold in Europe, including the European Union, the United Kingdom, and the European Free Trade Area, would be emission-free. Nevertheless, until this point, Toyota had not divulged any information concerning the rate at which it would introduce new electric vehicles. However, Toyota's European president, Matt Harrison, has just declared that the corporation would have six different models in its beyond zero range of electric vehicles ready for purchase by the time the year 2026 is over and done with. This figure takes into consideration both the BZ4X and the production model of the BZ Compact SUV concept, which is expected to make its debut the following year in a form that is production ready. So what about the company's future? What more cutting-edge technologies does the company want to develop? Toyota, much like many other automakers, is of the opinion that software will play an essential role in future vehicles. Erin is the name of the brand new software platform that is being developed by the Woven Planet section of the company. It uses a method known as Software Defined Architecture, which, in a nutshell, indicates that it is fully integrated with the hardware that is often connected to a car platform. This will allow for enhanced over-the-air upgrades, the ability to provide new features as downloaded extras, and the capacity to offer autonomous and advanced driver support systems as part of a mobility-as-a-service model. Additionally, Toyota is working to grow its Kinto Mobility branch. Its primary focus is on providing subscription and leasing packages in Europe at the moment, but this may change in the future. The company also provides a variety of shared mobility devices in Japan, such as electric scooters, but this is not the case in Europe. Lexus, which is Toyota's premium brand, will actually take the lead in developing electric technology for the company, with a major focus on innovations that will improve the performance and dynamics of electric cars. In the meantime, Toyota has announced that it will continue to invest heavily in developing its hybrid and electric vehicle lineup. This involves research into lithium-ion and solid-state batteries of the future generation, as well as research into technologies like steer-by-wire, torque-vectoring all-wheel drive, and even a virtual manual transmission. Next year, the company will release the RZ450E SUV, which is closely connected to the BZ4X and is currently in the process of producing the Lexus electrified sports car. With years of innovation and experience, let's go places with Toyota!
This is all for the video today. If you want to stay updated regarding the latest technologies in automobiles, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.